Hello.
Hello. Um, yeah, I tuned in for part of it. I wasn't there in person. Uh huh. Hey, ROV, I've finished everything I need to do with the McLean. You're welcome to power that off if you'd like. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got it. <laughs> oh, cool. Sweet. That's a serendipitous thing to just walk into. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny how like, it's, I mean, you either know about Nautilus or you don't, you know, like when I've told people that I sail on Nautilus, they're either like, oh my God, that's so cool. Or they're like, what are you talking about? I've never heard of that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> oh, when people are like, yeah, when I don't want to talk to someone, they're like, uh, what do you do? And I'm like, I'm a photographer. And they're like, oh, so you shoot a lot of weddings? And I'm like, nah, but what? don't worry about it. Whatever. <laughs> no, I had a good conversation on the plane out here with a guy who'd never heard of Nautilus he was like immediately pulling out pulling up the site and was just like this is amazing and I was showing him some drone photos I had on my phone it was cool yeah <laughs> oil yeah yeah it just depends on whether the person's cool I'm happy to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. What's really funny is hearing how my friends and family describe what I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, one really poetic one was a guy I didn't even know that well. He'd only met me once or twice, but he was like, oh, yeah, Marley, she's a documentarian of oceans and mountains. <laughs> and I was like, that's lovely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because for me, it's like a laundry list. I'm like, I'm a photographer, videographer, science writer, science communicator, I do this, this, and this. Like, there's no way to condense it into one title. Yeah. <laughs> See, whereas I'm just permanently a poorly paid cameraman. It's a good problem to have. We have an awesome job.
Looks like we have a couple questions about what we're doing right now. Um, we are done with all of the objectives for this dive, and yes, we are ascending and getting ready to recover. And then we will turn the ROVs around over the next couple of hours and send them back down for a shorter dive early this afternoon. I chatted with uh, Megan Marley, and we're headed to the west flank, Endeavour West Flank, next to do a pressure sensor and current meter swap. Great. Yeah, it says on the board right there. Oh, gee. Oh, yeah. So you already knew. I knew, like, last night. <laughs> oh, I needed you in here I, earlier when people were asking what our next dive was going to be. Yeah, I, I don't know. I thought we were going to do it, like, 10 hours ago, so... What is time? What is time up <laughs> all, here? All good things. Yeah. Ask the audience that and we'll yeah. get some answers. Just like what Trevor said, what is it, eight hours per minute or something? That's eight hours point. per minute. Eight I'll hours do it for per seven. minute. Yeah. I just am curious what relatively short means <laughs> in this world we now inhabit. <laughs> Over Ten seven. hours or less is relatively short. I okay. would say so. Good As we're know. at hour 32 of this day. <laughs> well, I'd say, I don't know, the shortest dive we had so far was pretty short, actually. Was it like a bounce? Two hours, maybe? Less? Again, what is time? <laughs> like <it's laughs> I got to ask what eight hours per minute meant. Or eight minutes per hour, or someone said that? Dollar per second. Eight hours per minute. What did you say? Someone said that as I turned on comms just now. Oh, yeah, no, it's just uh, we're saying time is relative. And oh. sometimes you lose track of time up here. Yeah. Sometimes eight hours seems like a minute, vice versa. It's always a shock a when you leave here around. and the daylight condition is exactly the opposite of what you expect. Yeah. For like sure. It's almost dinner time, like. 4 a.m. Yeah. Oh, rats. Well, it's just you open up the hatch expecting to see stars and the sun shining right in your face. It's like, <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. tough. How did that happen? <laughs> I was talking with Lauren yesterday about how just time across the duration of an expedition is kind of crazy. It's like an accordion. It, you know, goes back and forth and... I feel like the days can stretch and stretch and be really long, like a rubber band. It's just stretching and stretching and stretching. And then all of a sudden the rubber band snaps and yeah. we're back in port. And it's like, what did we, you know, did we even go to see what happened? And, you know, yeah, at the yeah. end, it feels like it went by so fast. It's like that, uh, what is that saying? There are years where nothing happens or something like that. I can't remember. Days go by slow, but weeks go by fast. No. I don't know. Meant. No, no. There, there are years where like weeks go by, and then there are weeks where years go by, or something like that. I can't. Well, I also, I also feel like COVID completely, you know, warped time for all of us, whether we work on ships or not. There were periods of COVID that, you know, were weeks that felt like years. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's the phrase. There are decades where nothing happens, and there are weeks where decades happen. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. It's by Lenin. I think if there are decades of nothing happening in your <laughs> life, you're not doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just me. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess this Lenin guy had a pretty boring life. <laughs> Le did you say Lenin? Yeah. Yeah. John Lennon? <laughs> John Lennon. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> uh, I don't think he's done anything in decades. Oh. oh. <laughs> huh. Is that what they uh, named Leningrad after? John Lennon? I think so, yeah. 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 No, they named it after Gradients. <laughs> Gradients. Lennon Gradients. 
Nope. Uh, hmm. Got a question about whether or not we spend a lot of time on deck, and I would say yes, I definitely do. I've started doing laps around the top part of the deck to get my steps in. It's lovely. We've had uh, some pretty good weather days recently, so I think a lot of us have been able to spend a little more time outside. I just strapped my watch to the railing to get my move goal met. <laughs> <laughs> Crap here, watch them. Like Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> what? Strapped it. Oh. Yeah, that scene. Yeah. Strapped himself. Is this all you got? <laughs> the watch was out there. Oh, man. John Lennon was in that movie. That's right, on the Dick Cavett show. Really? What? Wasn't Ringo Starr like in, Hi. in Thomas the Tank Engine or something? Yeah, he, he was the narrator. The narrator? I thought he was like full on a conductor or something. The conductor sounds right. The conductor is the narrator, right? Is he both? Okay. I don't know. I don't remember. He might do all the voices. Yeah. Huh. It's funny that that was like my introduction to Ringo Starr. And now, in retrospect, <laughs> that was an improper introduction. <laughs> Did you know he was also in the Beatles? <laughs> That's so no strange. <laughs> the, the tank engine guy? <laughs> <laughs> I thought Paul McCartney was the drummer for the Beatles. There's He used to be a drummer. There's a great interview in the 60s, I think it was, with the BBC and the Beatles. And the interviewer asked Ringo Starr, are you the best drummer in the world? And I think Paul jumped in and said, he's not even the best drummer in the Beatles. <laughs> yeah. 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 But you know, no. I you think that Ringo too, is man. an excellent drummer. He's a very music, like melodic yeah, he, he can keep a rhythm, apparently. No, I mean, he, like... Yeah, he'll... Not just that, but he, like, he plays to the song. His sure. kid's good. Zach. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Zach Starkey. Mm -hmm. yeah. Really good place for the huh. who. Huh. <laughs> kind of like uh, Jason Bonham picking up. That's wonderful. Yeah, there's another one, eh? Yeah. AJ's come up to tell us to talk about something relevant. I have not been paying any attention to what you've been talking about. Been yeah. talking about Beatles? <laughs> <laughs> what, what was it? What did I miss? Well, somebody wrote in asking if you could explain how to make a monkey's fist like they see on camera. Can you yeah. explain how oh. you make that? And then that somehow led to... Use the, uh, the line to illustrator. Lennon to being in the Beatles or Forrest Gump. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think so. there was a confusion about the monkeys versus the Beatles. Monkey's fist. <laughs> <laughs> the Beatles like he's the band versus the Beatles the band. How do you how do you tie the Beatles fist? The Beatles fist. That's a bit, that's a bit different. <laughs> it's a question for Doug, I think. It's right? A little Adrian? less rock and roll. Yeah. Uh, Let's I, get Doug to live stream on one of these cameras. What's a question for Doug? How to tie one of these? I don't know how to tie one of these. No, no, the Beatles fist. Oh, oh AJ, uh, really into bugs. <laughs> AJ, have you never tied a monkey's fist? I have. Yeah. I was gonna say, isn't that a rite of passage you don't see? Uh, a little bit, yeah. 
But like we haven't been using them as much lately because oh, like I, I don't know, in, in yeah. infinite, infinity loops seem to do just as well in a lot of cases, and they're so much faster to tie. But they're pretty long. They don't have to be that long. Well, they're infinite. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Oh. They're still oh, tying it. Still tying them to <laughs> this still day. Work, still working on it. Yeah. 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 yeah, we've got a whole factory of co-ops yeah. working on the infinity loop. <laughs> How do they know when they're finished? <laughs> Comes out the they factory, wanna... goes in the front back door, right around <laughs> to the front door. That's terrible. Yeah, that's not at all good. All right, as an ROV pilot, what's superior? Um, these. I guess these monkey fists or hockey pucks. Hockey pucks. I don't don't even care about the context. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Shame required to say that as, as a, a Canadian? Non Canadian <laughs> ROV pilot. Yeah, it depends like on the application. Mm, very reasoned <laughs> response. I the see. only time I choose a monkey's fist is if I'm playing hockey. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a. Uh, ours typically have golf balls inside them, help them float. Hmm. Oh. That's the secret. Oh, I was going to ask what the center was. Hmm. Golf balls floating. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I golf balls are rated too. They sure are. You have to get the high quality ones. Yeah. You can't get cheap. No. You send the co-op student to go to the driving range at night and Only load a couple of buckets. What's the? What are some golf brands? Title. Titleist. Titleist. Titleist yeah. sounds yeah. like a golf brand. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if you uh, take the golf ball out of there if it behaves any differently if you hit it with a golf club. Like an egg, yeah. Smells well, funny. Yeah. Or uh, goes three times as far. <laughs> we could come we up could with a whole that. market. Yeah, we yeah. could sell them. That's actually a great idea, Ed. Help fund this yeah. hobby of ours. Kissed by the ocean. <laughs> Poseidon's kiss. Poseidon's <laughs> kiss. <laughs> Very small batch. Dante's kiss. <laughs> oh no. So you long you, you feel roasted in hydrothermal bed? Yeah. Oh yeah. Seasoned. Seasoned. In purgatory. Yeah, you can plug that in. Yeah, right there. <coughs> Is it secured? Yeah, it's zip tied. Okay, yeah. Don't take it away. What could it even plug into? Something. Uh, <laughs> no it's that uh, light above the hatch. That's for when we were working on the vans and had no power. Mm. Oh, okay. Cool. But he's still waiting on that sensor. One day. <laughs> One day. I hope. I'm glad we have that powered on at all times. Yep. So we know when the sensor's up. I don't think there's any on off switch on that thing. It's not easy to get up there. Nope. It's for the DT winch, right? Yeah. I believe so, yeah. Oh, the headings are right now. That's no. good. That's good. No, Atlanta's still off. Yeah. I don't get Can it. Can you see the no. heading? Graphical only? Yeah. Heading 3 2. Oh, that's for Herc? Herc. That's not for Herc. Herc's heading's not 328. Well, that's. Uh, Atlanta's heading, heading is 312. Ugh. So it's 15 degrees off, as we saw before. Okay, so there you go. So why is that? Ugh. Does your XY match up from there to there? 
Yeah, 83. Yeah. 949, yeah, and 0983. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but, so that's but your. Why is this? Okay, that's status display is Atalanta. Yeah. <sighs> Atalanta status. Let me see if I can fix that. Isn't that your job, is to move the XY of Atalanta? That seems to make sense. It is, but that's not. Oh. That's not what we want there. Is this one this one? Or is this one this one? That one is... According to our science uh, team, we may have witnessed uh, the death of a species on this dive. Death of a species? Whoa. Yeah. What does that mean? Well, if the Hulk vent has shut off now, there was an endemic uh, hyperthermophilic, like, I guess, what, what do you call it, archaea? Um, not quite bacteria, the thing, like, you know, hyperphile or whatever they live. Uh, anyway, there was one endemic to the Hulk uh, vent, so probably not around. If, if that was Hulk that we saw. Yeah, if that was Hulk. <laughs> And if, we still know, unsure. and if we know that, we don't know what we don't know. You Can know. you speed up, please, Dave? That, that could be on another event that mountains. we don't know about. Jesus Christ. Christ. Yeah, but it could be... Stop uh, fucking tweaking things. <laughs> it might going. have a different genome. 22 this whole time? No. Yeah? It's been down to 16. Yeah, for 30 seconds. Well, no. But I'll let you off. What if I... But yeah, very true, Rennie. Uh, maybe it, we just haven't discovered it on another uh, vent somewhere else. So that's right. That's, that's two. That should be one. Oh, we said Atlanta equals one, and my my thing. <laughs> that's not what. Oh. That should be this one. Okay. Here, I'll show you. Look. Okay. Navis. Look, Dave. I'm dropping it to sixteen. I have the vehicle coming in as one. Roger. In my any. And oh. now I'm What happens if again. I do two? I'm gonna do it. Why not? <coughs> Status display, settings, vehicle Speed number. back up now. Two. If you set it at 22, I think it'll be good. It seems like No matter what I put in there, it's using Atalanta. Oh no, now it's the ship. What about zero? Now it's the ship. Yep, let's go with zero. That would be frustrating. Yeah, it's zero. <sighs> cool. Great work. Why, though? <laughs> the depth is zero of the ship. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. No, we talked about running. And also, we lost SOG and COG for the vehicle. Excuse me? Speed over ground. Oh. Speed and course over ground. Street of Georgia? Yeah. Compass of Georgia. All right, what about vehicle USBO? No, that, that has no options to change. That's always apparently Herc. Okay. Uh, that doesn't even, that makes no sense that 012 would be Herc Atalanta ship. I mean, it doesn't matter, but it doesn't make sense against everything else. There you go, tweaking the winch speed again. Always tweaking the winch speed. <laughs> you have to recalibrate your stick. Stick needs tossing. You we can get rid of it. Need a better one. You can do it by hand. Needs re-taping.
Uh, somebody just commented asking if I'd had coffee. I absolutely have. That's why I've been having so many lovely conversations with my shipmates this morning. Mm. Um, I bring my own coffee on the ship, and it's what powers oh, me through waiting. every day. It's How do you best, make your own coffee? Best part of my day. I am not fancy like the other uh, coffee snobs on the ship. I don't do the espresso stuff. I prefer quantity over quality. Do you do pour over? Yeah, I just do a pour over. Okay, it's um, all right. With some Hawaiian ground coffee. Nice. So it's lovely. I um, I don't understand people like Jeb and Ed who don't drink coffee at all. I just Never don't get it. I don't drink <laughs> coffee. Either. I'm glad that's the reason yeah. you don't understand. You that. don't drink coffee, Rennie? No coffee. Or Rennie. Yeah. No, no caffeine. caffeine. No, I have no objections to caffeine. Nope. It's <laughs> not a coffee person. Have you just you just don't like coffee, Ed? I had a traumatic childhood experience. Oh. But does it have to do with coffee, or you just felt like saying coffee. that? <laughs> <laughs> I had many traumatic. <laughs> no, it was really related to co I, I think now, looking back on it, it was probably a combination of, like, reading Hansel and Gretel in school that day. Yeah. And then our neighbor gave all the kids as we were coming home from school, it was like first, second year, uh, candy, and I got a coffee-flavored one. Oh. Like, who makes coffee-flavored candy, let alone gives it to a child? Yeah. And I mean, I, I thought I for sure the witch from I'd Hansel been, and Gretel. Yeah. I thought I'd been poisoned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I was convinced. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I Even when I was a kid, I didn't drink coffee, obviously, but I loved coffee-flavored ice cream. Ugh. Loud and clear deck. Yeah. Well. That was a... I have gone through periods where I've stopped drinking coffee, and I could. I was just less happy. I just <laughs> wasn't really enjoying life. The correct way is loud and clear. The correct way is loud and clear. Set of five by five? Yep. Yep. Nobody knows what that means anymore unless you have relevant experience. Loud and clear. Correct communications procedures. Yeah, and uh, um, Mike's habit of, you know, uh, van, van, bridge, bridge, Ed, Trevor. Ed, is uh, spreading now. Other people are starting to do that, and that should be reserved for the second call. There's no response to the first call, my personal opinion. At least nobody here says we'll go, or worse, Roger will go. Roger over in our... Because you're using two things, two con confirmations at the si in the same th same sentence. I was going to ask, does Wilco mean the same thing as Roger? Well, because like we're done talking, I get it. It's all in context, as long as we all know what we're saying. I think we should all say what Mal and I says and just say shoots. <laughs> shoots. <laughs> shoots. Yeah, like you would. Hours. You would it's like Canadian a one, so you've taken little bits of what the Americans do and little bits of what we do to suit it for yourselves. Yeah. No, the CAA is the global standard. The FAA follows that. That's the UK C Civil Airline Administration or whatever it is. Yeah, because obviously we're the ones that give you permission to like be independent and do that kind of stuff. You know, speaking of flying. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna get my ears. I'm gonna get my yeah. I'm not gonna bring up the moon. Don't worry. Huh? You mumbling, Ed? Yep. Mumbly mumble. <laughs> How's the 180 cam? 
Uh, I just downloaded the service logs, which they request, or system logs for them. Uh, it's okay at night, or during the day, but at night it has an issue. Um, so, I, I find this fascinating. The Wright brothers first took flight in 1903. Yep. A man walked on the moon 66 years later. Yep. Mm -hmm. That was quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Really quick. Uh, and uh, uh, Neil Armstrong took with him on the Apollo lander a piece of fabric and a piece of wood from the Wright brothers' plane, and those are in the Smithsonian now. But that's such a 66 years yeah. Yeah. from not being able to fly to being up on the moon. Just an incredible piece of progress. And the time since, all we've done to learn to do is stare at our hands holding a device. Yeah. I was going to say, when was the Make first plastic. computer invented? And now we oh carry them around gosh. in our pockets, you yeah. know? Yeah. Like, what's the... There's some sort of statistic about the computing power <coughs> of what they had on the Apollo missions. Was oh, like right. A quarter or not even of what our cell phones can do now. Oh, you it's, know? yeah, I think it's less than that. Beeps yeah. and boops. They were very accurate pocket calculators. And a lot of really talented programmers going through that code and getting it right. I think it was Armstrong who had his favorite person to go through all the code for him. Just oh, yeah. To have sure. you read Hidden Figures? No, I have not. That's a great book. Good movie, too. Yeah, great movie, too. I heard that dust was a big issue up on the moon. Hmm. Like, it actually right. got into their suits and into their capsule. And, like, they couldn't get the stuff off them. And so it would actually get bunched up into their like the joints of their suits and could actually cause mechanical failures in their suits. Wow. It's very sharp. Yeah. Very, uh, very sharp moon dust. So I think when they returned too they were treated as almost quasi human just to make sure they didn't grow another head. They were quarantined for weeks or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think future suits are trying to figure out some kind of dust repellent design huh it's probably not going to be perfect but probably better than what we had back then elon will fix it all hmm. Hmm. just like he fixed twitter <laughs> yeah <laughs> jeez <laughs> yeah so a time to service 38 uh, I so we're 675 meters Ignore that. Are you messing speed with your speed again? again? Yeah, right. Sorry? No. I can go a bit faster then, but I'm going to be... Oh. I'm just going to not care about that for now. <coughs> I guess I'll still let him know we're at 660. 650. Okay. Is that the number you Yeah, that's use? my number on my list. <coughs> used to be 500, but then we started going faster. Hmm. I guess slow down for a sec. Deck control. Just informing you, we're at 650 meters ascending. 6440. Four, four, He's standing on the social deck looking at the uh, launch oh, yeah. control. <coughs> well, the payout's different than the perk depth, which doesn't. <sighs> Come on. What if I said I got you four by four? <laughs> That's <laughs> definitely wrong. That's universally wrong. It is, but it's still, <laughs> it would still be at like, you know, it loud, it loud and clear. The maximum, it is four out of four. <laughs> yep, four out of four ain't bad. What is the expression? What expression? 
Is there an expression? Five by five. Five by five. Is that what people say? Yeah, one, two, three, or four, or five by five is broken down. I can't remember exactly how it works, but depending on how many words you receive out of a message. So I guess you have to say an amount of words divisible by five, otherwise the whole system breaks down. Otherwise you have to say the number of words, oh. the, yeah. the number of words you heard. The yeah. a fraction. Oh, I got you 27 by 27. 28. <laughs> so you have to know how many words they're saying before they say before it. They, to yeah. give a total. Yeah. This, this is like a really, really bad system. Yeah, so loud and clear makes a lot <laughs> more sense to me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I should read up on that again, because if you read your 4 by 5 it's something like, I understand the message, but I might not get all the details or something. It breaks it down in the, yeah, in the yeah. guidebook, which I, I've forgotten. And as much as it uh, violates every ra radio protocol, I'm a big fan of the breaking squelch twice for yes, where I understand. Just convenient when you're doing ops. Mm -hmm. As long as people don't say over and out, like they right. do in the movies, yeah. then I'm happy. All right, Ed, I'm going to start trying to guess if comments are from you. <laughs> no, I haven't typed any in. Are you sure? Because this I'm one sounds positive. like it's from you. This, one, says, it is <laughs> this one is, I heard that the Apollo computer wasn't even as smart as your ROV pilot. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Wait, I don't, who's that Wait, is that an insult yeah, or is that a... We're, we're too dumb to figure that out. We're too dumb to <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was still successful. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Houston, I have a problem. <laughs> hmm. I don't get it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on. What are you, what are you gonna I do don't now? <laughs> do you need a, any notes taken on that <laughs> piece of paper? No. What are, are you, you gonna do with that? Are you sure? What about that? <laughs> no, don't look behind you, you know, okay. like this. Okay. <laughs> Good one. Do you need a job? Do you need a task? Oh, hello, ink. 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 Two kinds of squid ink. What do you mean? They have two ways of inking. Uh, I'm trying to think of who on How board. Megan, I think, was telling us about that. Oh, like a thick one and a thin one, or something. Yeah, they mix some other secretion in with the uh, other one that is uh, revolting to whatever's attacking them. Wild. How long does it take to regenerate the ink? So many. Squid questions. No biologists. Ten squid minutes. Ten, <laughs> ten squid minutes? What's the squid minute conversion? I don't have my converter on me right now. It's eight hours to min per minute. <laughs> uh, do I care? What about the positioning? Hey. Bye. We'll be streaming soon. We have streaming services. Yep. Okay. I subscribe to Bridge. Monthly subscription to the, Bridge. The Bridge channel. Yeah. I've been watching a lot of the Deck channel lately, but it's all reruns. It's all launch followed by recovery. Mm, yeah. <coughs> you should. Uh, Never mind. Just play a bad recovery while we're doing a normal recovery <laughs> <laughs> in front of our screen. Right. Whoa, everything's going pear shaped. Ah. <laughs> Herc is passing us on the starboard side. Yeah. That kind of thing.
But we have a ADUCP capability that tells us what the surface currents are now, right? Yeah. Well, you want to know? Sure. Is that working while the vehicle's in the water? Yeah. Nice. What device is that on? Uh, KVM. Uh, EK80. Oh, look at that. Take a second to spin up. Not much current to speak of. It says 1.3 knots, so that has to be swell and wind combined. But not wind, either. <clears throat> well, that's the thing. Because maybe. Roger that. If it's not as accurate as we'd like it to be. Not animominating? Yeah. <clears throat> so pretty much if we're successfully holding position, yeah, its cumulative forces are correct. But whether, where they come from, we don't know. <clears throat> Five hundred. this hook for? I think it holds your uh, questions. Hmm. It's a pretty powerful magnet. That's why it's there, because <laughs> we can't get it off. Huh. It's hurting my finger. Ouchie. Hey, Ed. Yeah. Someone just asked what happened to the bow camera. Do we not have the bow cam anymore? We do not have it right now. It had water intrusion in the front. It's a sealed housing, but there's IR infrared emitters on it, on the front, that were just behind a plexiglass shield, and that allowed water intrusion. And so... Uh, is the uh, whole camera totally dead, or are you just going to have to get a new one? Or uh, I have one that we'll take on in the port of Honolulu to replace it. Now we're going. We uh, we also lost cam wire, so cam bow first uh, was taken down to replace cam wire, and it lasted all of one day. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one has water intrusion. Let's put it closer to the water. Let's put it down in the water. <laughs> well, it's cam wires much more important to see than our yeah. forward facing one. Um, so once the vessel arrives in Honolulu uh, in like three weeks, well, we should have a cam bow back up and running. Yeah. I like that view as well. I like the view a lot. It's really nice to put on when we're in transit. Transit, weather day. Yeah. Yeah. Or whatever. Autonomous vehicle operations. Sunrise, sunset. Um, it, it really, well, we'll see with this camera what happens. Um, you really can only tweak those for daytime or nighttime. Uh, so we generally only use it during daylight hours, which up here is from 4.45 a.m. until 10.15 at night. Mm -hmm. uh, in Hawaii, it's 6.10 in the morning to 6.15, 6 something at night. On some forward way? Sure. Okay, no. No say. Bridge, nav. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, we'd like to track a line forward at the ship's current heading, speed 0 0.3 knots. Thank you. And we can secure tanks, enable air to tuggers, and have the captain on the bridge. Mm. 
ship's heading will be 320. Will it? Something's different with the cameras, right? What? Is there an extra 60 hertz that isn't normally there? Mm, I don't think so. Uh, there's no active salvo on the wall, so somebody's changed something. Yeah. Oh. But well, if I hit the salvo, I can hit salvo and we'll just put that pilot cam back down there. Oh, yeah. And yeah, now dive salvo is active. Yeah. I don't recall that being there. Makes sense, but it's for either seat to be able to read the yeah. things. Yeah. Just really far for that seat to read over there. Yeah. So. Oh right, because we don't have down cam anymore. Right. <coughs> I find down cam to have been useful. Yes. Have you ever had a bottom camera? For Herc, no. Not on her, just on the sled. Yeah, a camera underneath, just looking down would be really handy, especially yeah. in that terrain. Totally, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot more places we could put cameras on Herc. Yeah. But I think Dan would object. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now we. I can think of a lot of places I'd like to put cameras on Herc. Yeah. Down the bottom for, for sure, just to be able to see what's underneath. Yeah, because all we have for that is like the brow cam facing <laughs> down, and it's like low res and. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember when the mouse was like, "Ooh, I don't think we should have a mouse." Someone's like, well, maybe we could just have one. Is that still a touch screen? Yeah. That was the only way we did it for. I know, but ever. I feel like I've seen people use the mouse more often now. Yeah, because you don't got to lean in and like do all this yeah. weirdness. Yeah. I don't know. If the mouse goes away, then you're like, all right, I can just do the thing. Yeah. I wonder you why, why didn't we too. have a mouse for a long time? I don't know. It was not the way we ever did it. Hmm. Some places only ever, if they do let you use a pointing device, it has to be a trackball. Yeah, we had only trackballs up here for a while. Yeah. Um, but if you're space constrained, that makes sense. You don't have room to move something left and right. Yeah, it was also or like. You're bouncing around a lot. Yeah, exactly. So I remember when <laughs> we used to map up here, the trackballs actually were more annoying because of the vibration. I couldn't the, use them, yeah. I remember yeah. that for pre-dives, yeah. But, yeah, but we'd be rocking around a lot. I don't know. 
like a mouse, you can reference your hand against the table and just move right. a little bit. But the trackball, you're kind of like suspending uh, your fingers. Yeah, and it, it vibrates like, and then. I remember like trying to click yeah. on something and it was like, uh, <laughs> go yeah. past it. <laughs> Gotta time it. Yeah. yeah, time the click. Go ahead, Bridge. Thank you. Go ahead, Bridge. Okay, thank you, Bridge.
still need laterals. That was my stopping laterals for a sec to see. Mm, started to go, yeah. yeah. I don't expect much at the surface, according okay. to our DCP. Still got to get a goal, though. Is that what we're listening to? ADCP? <laughs> uh, nice. Dan, 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 dan. Actually, I'm not listening to it. So. You can hear the surface currents now. Yeah. I just saw that Nicole had a squat yeah. lobster named after her. That's awesome. Oh, That's cool. so cool. What's it called? It's something something Nicoli or something. Wow. Cool. Yeah. One of the ones that was in the Southern Southern California cruises back a few years back, I think. Congratulations to her. That's yeah. amazing. Maybe we should have done that earlier. Hey, Rennie. Yes. Settle the debate for us. Oh, no. Is the word unwieldy or unwieldy? Unwieldy. unwieldy. Noel? Noel. Gotcha. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Unwieldy. Correct. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I was today years old when I learned that. Unwieldy? Unwieldy. I don't know why I'm the arbiter of truth here, but yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Rennie has spoken. Yeah. This is the way. <laughs> <laughs> Just making it up. Dictionaries will be rewritten. Two hundred. Hmm. More laterals. More. That's thirteen percent. Yeah. It's not enough. No. Let's go for a sixty-seven. Yeah, good suggestion. K two was talking about because the thrusters are in different orientations that the thruster matrix could be re. Uh, Revisited. What's a thruster matrix? Like what? What goes when you want to go in which direction? What happens? Oh. Wow. Help. What? So, so if what thrusters go when you when you need to like if you're saying if your input is like I want to go straight, right? You're saying for autos. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Sorry. Well, no. Not for, just the for stick. Anything. Yeah. The stick is a valve. It's either open 100% or zero or anywhere in between. Oh, like if you right. go to the wag the left. That. If you yeah, go, like the if valves you haven't changed. The orientation has. So if you have one thruster yeah. that's wrong, facing the wrong way, yeah. I'm still commanding at 100%. I would go left. Mm. And I wouldn't want that to be anything less than 100% when I ask for 100%. Yeah, no, it would be that. It would, that. It would be like if you're like, it's mainly there. like if you're turning, right? Like if you change your heading. What thrusters are doing what? Uh, it's I just think uh, the it's these ones going, you know. I think right. the missing piece of the puzzle is there is currently a thruster matrix. There's that something sounds like a, an autos thing. Maybe it's autos. I, I thought it was kind of everything because when he was when he was doing that because because Little Herc doesn't have autos, right? Uh, Little Herc does have autos and has a thruster matrix for the and but so does Atlanta for heading change in Atlanta. Okay. If you command it to go to port, for example, it'll be 100% on one and 67 on yeah, the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is all or nothing. Or you oh. know what I mean. Yeah. Why does does Atalanta, or does Herc just have autos for heading? Little Herc just have autos for heading? 
Uh, and no, it, has, every, it doesn't have X, Y. It has yeah, heading it X, y. and depth and right. I think altitude as well off the altimeter. Hmm. I don't believe there's any thruster, uh, not thruster curves, that's a different thing. Thruster matrix, whatever. Yeah. Applied for manual inputs on Herc. Hmm. It's just a, like, assuming 100% yeah, yeah. gain, it's the joystick goes from 0 to 100% hydraulic valve openness. So right now we have a different pitch prop on, I think, the starboard aft. It's a 14 pitch instead of a 13, which means it's more demanding, but also gives you more power, assuming you can meet the demand. Mm. Anyway, if you were to give it 100% ahead hydraulically, in theory, you'd turn left, because you're getting more power out of the starboard side. Yeah. And that would be the case. So I think okay. a thruster matrix would be software that, uh, you know, corrects for that. Totally. So it's still getting, everything's getting full juice, except it's backing off that one thruster. Absolutely. Level. And we do not That's what that. I think a thruster matrix does. That's so it must just be for autos, then, that is what he's yeah. referring to. Like, if you're, like, oh, lateral, what gets activated? Because he was saying if the aft thrusters are now not straight aft, right? They're, they're correct. They're not straight aft. I think they were not straight aft before, either. Yeah. They might be more, they might be less straight aft than they were. Yeah. I'm not sure. I have to take my protractor out. Or yeah. wait till K2 comes They'd out again. They'd give you again. more problems if they were straight aft. Yeah. yeah. Totally. I think they just need more radiance, personally. Yeah, I think yeah. so. <laughs> <laughs> the proper unit of measurement. Canadians? Oh. Purist unit. Canadians. Canadians of angle. How many Canadians in a, in a 360 degrees? Hmm. It's too hot. doesn't get that hot here. Yeah. So none, I guess. Hmm? Zero. check that off my list. <laughs> I love how that's on my list because the pilots would forget to do it often enough. They're like, you put it on your list. <laughs> yeah, you do it. <laughs> What's that hanging off? Is that a load of the string hanging off the back? I think it's a jelly. I think I saw it come in there, but Big I don't jelly? know. Let's find out. You drive ahead. On what? Right there in the aft cam. Yeah, it's a it's a, it's a sea tina creature. Four. Yeah, yeah. Four, oh. It's a sea biscuit. I was looking at the little string in the starboard cam, which is just one of something. Rubber band or something. Hundred yeah. meters. Hundred meters I. Hundred meters you. Going in autos. Hundred meters me. Looks like pretty good conditions for a field goal. Yeah, I don't know. Cur current's very different here than it was at 120 and deeper. Mm hmm Usually. Yeah. And this time, too. Yeah. At least it's not that equatorial counter current. That was spicy. Nobody wants a part of that. Nobody wants it's that. It's just like you go down and it's just... Yeah, I remember that. That <laughs> was wild. Like, we're going to be there. We can't yeah. fight this. Well, that's like, that's the worst for the recovery because you're just... You have no idea what's going to happen. You just like have, you have to ho like presume it's going to fix itself at the surface, which it does. It's but just, it's but, scary, yeah. But you have to come up higher than you want to to, to get it fixed. Yeah, totally. Kind of past our threshold. All right, 78 meters payout. Slowing down. Slowing down, Roger. All stopped. Roger that. Deck control. Go for deck. I'll stop, seven five meters. Stop, seven five meters. Break, break, bridge. Break, deck, bridge. 
Bridge, back to Hack. Permission to go ahead and continue with recovery. Charlie to recover. Coming up, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yep. <clears throat> I guess. There it is. And the, all the cameras that we have to monitor the winch. All the ways we have to monitor the winch. <laughs> mm-hmm. Winch future. Winch futures. Trading in winch futures. Cameras in, cameras up, sonar stopped. Yep. We're all set. Recovery salvo coming up. Res is still 10. Whew. That's great. After yeah. a, after a, what is it, 30 hour dive? What 30 was it? something, yeah. Uh, we are at, uh, hold on a second. Coming into 34 maybe? I got it right here. We've been recording for a day plus nine and a half hours. Almost 34. I still don't use the radio thing. Still no. Yeah. Just force a habit. They're giving her 17 meters a minute up. Flying up. Yeah. That's fine. Maybe they were matching your. It seems unwise, but you yeah. know, here we are. We'll breach. <laughs> Falcon can breach. It's really? Unreal. Really? Yeah. Like not completely, but it doesn't get wow. out of the. But it definitely huh. foams out of the water. Whoa. Yeah. It's nuts. Back deck. Go ahead. Uh, Percolity is lining up just to starboard of the uh, center line A frame. Copy. Yeah, it's still a goal, buddy. It. Yeah, it's a goal. Come on. It's a goal. Gonna kill your lights, mate. If you want. You can leave them on, doesn't matter. It's just Hobbit. Sure. Thank <laughs> you. 
really doesn't have much draft. No. Uh, no, the aft part, yeah, the aft part of the ship is like sitting on top. The, that's the addition. Yeah. It just, if you're in the aft hold and weather, it's just banging around, smacking against the bottom. Feel that A-frame start. Yeah. The cable ships have that too, a transom that's got nothing under it for quite a ways. So Trevor, yeah, we are still streaming at point three. There's not really too much of a current to speak of. Up to you if you want to keep going or hold. We can hold. Roger. Just watch it doesn't go backwards too much. We'll do. I won't be watching that, so. Mm, when do I want to do that in case it does go backwards? Now is fine. Bridge nav. Hold position. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, then it won't yank at the wrong time while he's back there. Yeah. That's when it's on our list anyway. There we go. Tight. Res is up 13. Whew. Huh? Res is up 13. Made it over the port side easy enough, right? Yeah. Main's at one and a half. Yeah. That's neat. Fastest slew in the West. Yeah, the stopping is the hard part. Yeah. The starting and the stopping. Well, the starting's ah. not as bad. I tend to ease on the start, and then I don't realize that I don't have it fully out. And then the other day, Mike was commenting about how slow, how slow I was going. Slow, slow? And I was like, I'm full out. And then I pushed, and I had like so much more to go. There's a lot of resistance on that man on that manifold there. I like the manifold. Yeah. A lot of resistance, but it's very smooth. Yeah, yeah. It's better much, than that other way one. better than it was, yeah. Yeah, remember when we had it and it was like jerky and they were facing forward. <laughs> it was all wrong. Yeah, they're all like this or this yeah. or like this, yeah. yeah. It's like facing it with your knee. Yeah, yeah, that was wrong. The label's still wrong up there now with the extend. Yeah, it sure is. Tri tripped up Can't somebody see. the other day. Can't see. No, I can barely get you in the pool. There you are. It's okay. I got a big circle. Cam. Circle with the arrow. So, what's our weather? <clears throat> Not that bad. Like 15 knots. Right now? Yeah, and we went back five meters. Roger. I think that that's pretty normal. I think the, the problem was the 25% thing in high weather, which you shouldn't do. But it's, yeah, so it's off. It's off the list now. Josh has a very short daisy bring in. It's like he's like his, it's yeah. just he's trading hands, you know? There's no reach. It's kind of like a little motor. It's not the mark of a record breaker. It's not the mark of a record breaker, but, it's, you know, workhorse, steady. It's amazing. Without being able to see the vehicle, I'm like paying a lot more attention than I normally do. Sorry, say again? Without being able to see the vehicle, yeah. well, I'm deep, I guess. That yeah, I was going to say you're probably heavy, right? Yeah, right. Dolt. Yeah, you're down at five meters. Yeah, I'm coming up. Now we can see you. Now I can see you because I'm on the surface again. Yeah. Ugh. 
Van Deck, can Slot you have Hercules drive forward just a little bit, please? Roger. Why? Tag drive line. forward. Yeah, he asked me to do this the other day. Oh, to break it free from it's the... Just, yeah. Just to pull it off. I yeah, Roger. I think the way they've been taping it, also it sticks for longer, and he can't tell if it's I'm wrapped. wrapped yeah. yeah. Giving her all she's got, Captain. Yeah. It was the same when I come round. Yeah. Here, he asked me to pull forward. Yeah. And the part of it's to keep tension on the on the messenger line. Too. Yeah, you have to keep tension on that. Yeah. yeah. You don't yeah. want it to be bar tight, but you want it to be tight. Yeah. You don't want it to be slack. Yesterday's recovery was quite slack. I don't know who was flying that one, but no, that was me. That's because there's ago. nothing to fight against. Mm. Yeah. Outside of pushing forward, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. It's Ideally, it's right here all the time. A little, not fully vertical on that sway limiter. Mm. And not fully bar tight. Of course, waves don't allow that, but. Yeah, see, he lowers the boom then. Mike tells me not to lure it until I'm 90 degrees, which I always thought was weird. I don't really understand that. And deck, Hercules is 10 meters from the transom. 10 meters, I... I've been finding wire cam very useful now that it's like a higher resolution. Yeah, past. totally. You can see it still. Yeah. You know, you're past the transom still, like... Yeah, it's very useful. Oof. It's going to be like clown car beacon. And, uh, totally. Past the transom. Copy. <laughs> Keep pulling beacons out of it. <laughs> like a clown sleeve. Or a clown car. Yeah, that's what you said. Yeah. <sighs> Bypass. Hercules is clear of the water. Copy. High voltage secure.